What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and we have a highly requested one today. In the comments of my last two factory simulator videos, I've gotten a lot of people saying, hey, can you make a beginner's tutorial? I don't really get it. And I understand it because when I first started this game, I was like, oh, what to do? Like, I don't know. Like, it is really confusing when you start the game. Uh, right now, I am on my tier 3 account. It is a max tier 3. It's probably the best layout you can get. You should uh, probably go check out that video if you want. But we are going to do a beginner tutorial, uh, so this is not beginner at all, I'm gonna hop on a new account for this, and I'm just gonna go along with you guys in case you were literally just starting the game, and you know, say you found this video on YouTube, you're looking it up, just wanna go along, start the game, well this is what this video is for, we're gonna help you guys start so you can get a max tier 3 like this, and then tier 4, and yes, if you guys watched my tier 3 video I uploaded a few days ago, you probably know that I said I was gonna get a tier 4 video out soon, well, I mean, I've been kind of been busy, I've also been playing like a lot of Valorant and other games recently so I haven't really been like playing and like upgrading and stuff I have just been kind of AFKing in the game so that's pretty much where I'm at right now and they did announce in the discord server for factory simulator that tier 5 is going to be coming soon and they leaked some of the stuff for it I'll show the screenshot on the screen of what's going to be new so I do want to get a max tier 4 before the tier 5 update does come out so I can be ready for it and make videos about that but let's get into the video. This is for beginners. I'm going to hop off of my main account and head on to an alt account so I can go along and show you what to do when you're first beginning the game. Six hours later. Okay, here I am on a new account. Ignore my bald head. I am Mr. Gokaf was found, you know, the alt account, the better alt account. But let's get right into the video. As you see here, I have a blank plot, nothing on it. None of the other plots are bought. I have $100. And in your inventory, if you click E right here, you just click down here, you're going to have these things to start. You're going to have five straight conveyors, a basic container, and a cell zone. Now, ignore all of that. Don't touch it. You don't need it. All right. Come here and just you see these things in the top right here. You see the cut 10 trees, mine 10 rocks and cut down 50 trees. These is your main priority. When you first join the game and you have nothing, you have no progress. This is your main priority. Just mind this. Go for like these challenges first. The 10 trees one I probably recommend because there's more trees around. But do this. You get these trees like in your back right here. Ignore this until you get to 15. Right. So I think I've mined two now. Let's get three. Let's get four. And then once I'm at 11, I'm going to do this one and i'm gonna get one more tree so i'm at 15 and i'll show you what to do next all right so now we're at 15 so you're gonna want to go back to your plot okay so you're gonna want to place a cell zone right here and go like this and literally just drop it into there i got 150 dollars for that now i have 250 now you can't really do much on this until you cut down 10 trees which i'm really close to so i'm gonna go ahead and cut down 10 trees and i'll be back once i do that Okay, well that was fast, so we got the tree farm right here, now this is where it all starts, once you do this challenge, this is where it's all gonna start now, we got $150 and the tree farm, so now we're just gonna reset so we go there faster, because you know, why not, we don't really need the 9 trees or how much I have in my backpack, so right here, if you go to your inventory, you're gonna have a tree farm, now these farms is pretty much the entire game, you need to just get better farms, and then up until you get to like tier 3, this is really like the farms is really all you're gonna need, just put this down here, you're gonna wanna get a conveyor belt, you're gonna have 5 to start you might as well just place all of them down and i would just do this honestly just place all five down just like this and then i'd go here do i have no oh, no so don't uh when you place this here just delete this and then place it at the end here and then basically it's kind of like an auto farm these are going to spit out these little wooden blocks and then they're going to go on the conveyor belt and land in here once you see this they're both going to sell and it's got 10 each for that so now you're going to start like making money passively i see i have a, I have a 420 money there that's uh that's pretty nice <laughs> Okay, but for real though, we just got 10 there. So now it says mine 10 rocks, cut down 50 trees, and buy a cutter. Now we'll get into the cutter in a little bit because that's really what you need like once you've done these challenges first. So I'm going to mine 10 rocks and I'll be back once I do that. Okay, so the 10 rocks have been mined. I got a stone mine and 150 cash. Notice how I haven't went to the shop and bought anything yet. I'll show you what to do then. As you see here on the top now, it says cut down 50 trees, buy a cutter, and buy a press. So we're just going to go ahead and return this stone before I tell you what to do with these. Okay, so I returned the stone, right? So I'm going to first go ahead and place my stone mine because this is going to start making us money while I talk about what the cutters and press do. If you go to your shop here, it's going to say tier 1 cutter and a tier 1 press. And basically, a cutter just slices up the wood and then puts it, as you see here, it shows, it says wood, which costs $10, goes to wooden boards, which equals $25. A rock, which is $10, uh, goes in this, and then it gets cut to a stone slab, which is $25. The stone and wood, pretty much the same thing. And then basically, it's kind of like crafting, right? So you're going to get this, you're going to get a stone board, and then you can go here. Okay, so this actually only works with wood and copper, it is really it doesn't work with stone i just realized that and kind of kind of droning not gonna lie oh brother this 
This guy stinks! But basically, if you were to get a normal piece of wood that comes from the stone, it goes through the cutter, you get 25 wood boards, you put those wood boards, and then you're gonna get 65 from the pre pressurized wood. It kind of sounds complicated, I know, but it is really simple. So I have 910 right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy the cutter, and I don't have enough, I just realized. Okay, that's that's great. I need, uh, I need, I need 10 more. Okay, come on, please. Mine faster. Oh my god. Okay, finally, I have 950. I'm going to go ahead and buy a cutter. And then I just got a challenge done too, which is really good. So now it says buy a tree farm, buy a press, and cut down 50 trees. We'll get to those in a second, but let's just go here and let's place our cutter because this is going to start to make us more money. Make sure a cell zone is at the end, of course. It's going to cut up the wood, and then now I'm getting 25 each, so I'm already going to start to get more money. Now, that's pretty much what this entire game is. You're going to get a cell, like an auto farm, kind of like these, and then they're going to go through these certain machines, and then one machine is going to turn into something else, and then that machine can turn into something else, and then you sell it for the most money possible. Like, if you guys want ahead and watch my videos that I made on the beginner layout and the tier 3 layout, it's if unless you like don't know how to play the game, like it seems like pretty simple. But, it's like, for example here, if it goes into the cutter, and then it's going to turn into something else, and then you're going to get the press, and it's going to go into a wood board here. Now, for the copper, I'm going to have to go ahead and get the copper, but I'm not going to do it until the challenge pops up. Uh, so, I do have to buy a press for 750, and since I have enough money, I'm going to do it. Oh, I don't have enough money. It's 2k, bruh. Okay, since I completely forgot this game, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and mine 50 trees so I can get this challenge done and get another tree farm. This is probably going to take a while, so I'll time lapse it until I'm done getting the 50 trees, so uh, I hope you enjoy this little time lapse. Okay, so that took a while, but we got $500 and a new tree farm. If you want to pick up all these little pieces, you can return them. It's You can, you'll get money for it. But honestly, I'm just going to reset so I can go back to my base because honestly, I just like, you don't really need that money. I have 2.34 already. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and place my other tree farm because why not? It is more money. There's not anything that's bad's going to happen from doing that. But now here it says buy a press, buy a truck, which is okay, it's 100,000 and then buy a tree farm. Now, how much do I have right now? Let's see. Uh, I do need a little bit more so I can get the press. And now right now, there's not much you can do except for like farm the rocks and then putting them on the little conveyor belt here so you can sell them. But like if you don't want to do that, you can go like, hey, go watch a YouTube video. Maybe go watch one of my videos. Uh, hashtag ad or you can just go ahead and farm the rocks like I'm doing and sell them so you'll get there faster it doesn't really make you much money but like you might as well and just go ahead and do it if you want I have 15 which is the max uh, if you get game passes this will help you but this is a complete beginner's guide on how to do this without game passes and I wish like honestly like I don't want to like sound like that guy, but I do wish I had this guide when I first started the game because, you know, okay, so I do have enough to get my press, so I'm going to do that, but I wish I had this guide to start the game because I went through a lot of time just figuring out the game when I first started, and I really love it. Like, if you guys watch my previous two videos, like, you know how much I really like this game, and I think this could be one of the biggest games on Roblox soon if the developers keep up consistent updates, and I really love it, and I can't really say much, um, but there is an update that's been coming recently that's going to benefit youtubers i can't say anything else besides that um because i don't want to like you know lose any permissions but that's that's pretty much it i love the community of this game too if you want to join their discord server i definitely recommend it it's a really fun community in there i'm in the call in there sometimes so if you want to talk to me you can go there too and overall it's just really fun now it says mine 10 copper rocks copper rocks are just in the back right here they're they're pretty close to it so you can just go here and collect them and I am kind of dumb. I need to buy tier 1 before I mine the copper rock. So I'm going to wait until I get 3k. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to mine some of this other stuff here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to drop this because trees are worth more. Um, So I can get to 3k faster because you do need to buy that. I completely forgot, man. It's been a while. But let me go here and just place this in the conveyor belt so I can make more money, 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 money. I like money. Okay, so we did hit 3k, so let's just go ahead and buy tier 1, and then there we go, kind of broken out $50, but that is okay. 
So hopefully you're not lost by now. Pretty much all I've done is I've done my challenges in the top right of my screen. Uh, for those challenges, I get auto farms and I put those out. You put the conveyor belts out and then you buy these little cutters and then put them that way. And then they'll just start making you money automatically. Pretty simple. Uh, it starts to get complicated from now. Um, well, not really, I guess, because you kind of know that you're doing at the game. But you can go ahead and mine 10 copper rocks. They're just in the back here. I'm pretty sure they're like all around the map no matter where you spawn. So just go here, and I'll be back once I'm done mining the 10 rocks. Okay, so I'm done. I got a copper mine, uh, plus $50. I am just going to reset so I can go back to my base because it's not worth it the time you're going to spend to walk back to your base just for the little money you're going to get from that. So we can go here, place a copper mine, and then just like that, and now we're good. That will be making us a lot more money now. Now, once you're here, you're going to start advancing pretty quickly because copper mines, when they get cut and then pressed, they do make a lot of money. So now, if you want, you can go to my original video that I made on the beginner layout. Go ahead and copy that. I'll have the link to that in the description if you want to go watch it. But now it says buy a tree farm, buy a truck, and buy a furnace. Now, in my opinion, I wouldn't buy a truck until you get to tier 2 because that is really what you're going to need in order to like get these type of like items over here. Like You're not really going to need it, so wouldn't recommend buying this yet don't buy the truck uh so buy a tree farm we can buy a tree farm honestly uh not really worth in my opinion buy a furnace i think is what we're going to do let's see how much it is so a furnace is 4.5k uh i think we're going to do that because we now have copper ore uh, and we're gonna get a new challenge for doing that anyway so i'm gonna sit here until i can get to 4k and then i'll be back 12 seconds later Okay, so we do have enough for a furnace. Let's go buy it. I got $1,000 for it. And we got a new challenge, which is buy a copper mine. How much is a copper mine in the store? It is... Okay, advanced copper mine. Where's the normal? Okay, it's right here. So it's 10 k Now, you will need copper mines and normal tree farms if you want to make the original layout. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to make in this video because it is going to take a little bit of grinding and a little bit of AFK to get it. Let's go ahead and place our furnace. We are going to need to make some adjustments here. So let me just go ahead and then delete all of these. And let me go place my furnace. Now, for the time being, this is okay, but like I said, you're definitely going to want to get another layout. So, I would just go to the video I made a while ago and copy that layout. And you can just do this exact same thing over again. Like, again, you can get these pieces in the store, and then you can, like, right turn, left turn. You can do all of that. But that is basically, like, what you do in the beginning of this game. You basically get these challenges, you farm up, you're going to get rewards for them. With those rewards, you'll get this, which automatically farms this. Like, this is only good right now for the copper mines. For the sand if you want to use it you can but like honestly i just don't recommend it the copper mines are so much easier i never really use sand on my other tier 3 account uh so that's pretty much it it is pretty simple like if you really explain it well i hope i didn't make it sound too complicated because it really isn't if you just really like follow what you're doing you're going to get rewards for doing the challenges it's pretty much when you start the game challenges on the top right do those it's it's what's going to progress you the most now, I don't want to, like, advertise myself too much here, but on my second channel, which I will have a link to in the description as well, I do post a lot of videos, as you see down here, like, where to find gold rocks, where to find resonite, where to find super wood trees. I do post all these videos on my second channel, so if you want to go watch them, you can do that. I might create a playlist, and I'll actually do, do that once I'm done recording. I'm going to create a playlist with all of these videos, uh, so you can go ahead and watch them if you if you want to know where to find certain rocks and items in the game. And as you see here, they're actually doing really well. Like, this one has 4,000 views. This one has 5,000 views. This one has 2,000, 2,400. I do post a lot to my second channel as well. Like, a lot of Fortnite, like, Valorant stuff. Like, streamer, like, Twitch moments and all that. So, if you do like that content, you can go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. If you want to see a bunch of just, like, funny, like, clips and videos and stuff. It is pretty cool. But the only reason I'm showing you my second channel is in case you want to find these videos like I have uploaded here. So you can go ahead, watch them if you want. If you're going for like tier 2 items and like it says in the challenge, like find titanium and you don't know where it is, go to my second channel and you'll most likely find the videos there. And I'm going to be uploading more and more as we go along if more like tier 5 items get released. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my second channel, you can. If you don't want to subscribe because there's like content you don't want to watch like these, that's completely fine too. But just want to show you guys that this is there if you do need the help. Now, some of you guys might be asking for about the extruder. Uh, if you're going to be going for the layout that I showed, then yes, you're going to want to get the extruder because copper is going to be your main source of income at tier 1. If you're not going to be using copper, then don't get it. Don't waste 12k on it. Go ahead and get like the advanced like 
like, I don't know, tree mines or whatever you're going to do. Or if you just want to go straight to tier 2, which is 27k, you can. Because at the rate I'm making money at, I'll probably get there within the next, like, 10 minutes. So if you just want to completely skip tier 1 and go right to tier 2, you can. I wouldn't really recommend it, but of course you can if you want. But that is pretty much it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed. I've been getting this video request a lot and I just really wanted to give it to you guys because I wish I had this video. Like I said, like I wish I had the video when I started the game. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this full video, tell me down in the comments. Say, just say the word GOAT, like nothing else. Just say the word GOAT in the comments and I'll like it. I might even pin the first person to say it. Like, who knows? But if you did watch this full video, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You don't even understand how much I appreciate it. Even if you just click on the video, send it and watch the full thing. But leave a like and like, like again, it's, then again, I said like, you know, comment. But uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.